I just got back from Gator Gar bow fishing out in Texas, and honestly, I had an absolute blast. Let's just say this, within the first 25 minutes, I passed up about a 115 pounder, a giant Gator Gar that came swimming on right past, he was roughly 20 feet out from my boat, and I decided to pass him up. And uh, if I could, I'm going to try and pull up some clip here of that video, so you can see what I'm talking about. Now the reason I decided to pass him up... It's not because he was super small, but it's because typically what happens is the uh, small ones come out first and then you see the giants after that, similar to fishing, right? You always catch the small ones first before you catch the big ones. And that's kind of what it's like for alligator gar bow fishing. So I decided to pass him up and well, unfortunately I never did see a bigger one, but I did see a massive alligator. Now that alligator was roughly 12 feet long. He was absolutely massive. And uh, that might be one of the biggest gators that I've seen in real life ever, to be honest. I mean, he was huge. All of a sudden I saw him swimming through and I was like, holy, look at the size of that thing. It was um, maybe 50 yards away from me, so it was not super far, but it wasn't super close either. But the point is, it was absolutely massive. And in honor of that, today I thought we'd go out here on Mississippi and do some gator hunting with a 308. Just to kind of get warmed up here. <laughs> okay. I think we're on. I think we're definitely on. We just absolutely smoked that female at about 315 yards out on the trot, right in the back of the neck, one shot. That's what we want right there. How about that one out there at about 200? Oh, did he slow down? Kind of? He's about 280 out, so he's at kind of an odd distance. But he's slowly creeping through right behind that brush right there. Just barely crawling through there. Why am I shaking so much here? Unbelievable. Another absolutely epic shot placement on that gator there. And we are two for two on the trot with the AR-308. Man, we are absolutely just smoking them. We're getting a call from a male gator right there. But I can't exactly see him. Wait, is that? Yeah, I'm not even gonna count that first shot. That was kind of just getting him to slow down. The second shot was money though. <laughs> so we're three for three so far on these gator. All right, here we go. Let's have a look at this last gator that we just smoked. Ended up getting a double lung spine shot at 120 yards out. Pretty nice shot there. And it looks like we have two of them laying right here side by side. I didn't actually realize that they were so close together, but let's have a look at them. Ended up getting another double lung spine shot at 290 yards out. Then we got another one laying right here. Let's have a look at this one as well. And a perfect brain shot at 350 yards. But he's like right there in that little opening there. It's super tough to see him right now. But he's definitely right back in there. Now we have a perfect win. So honestly, what we might try and do is just take it easy and get in some of this thick brush here. And then, I don't know, maybe even take him down with the recurve. It might be pretty risky to do that, but if I feel comfortable and we can get close to him, I might try it. He's getting really close. I hear him. The only problem is I don't have any cover. There he is, right there, he's right there. <laughs> 
Dude, he went directly away from us. But guess what? It's actually even better because now he's going to be further away from this river here. And if we get close to him, we'll have uh, quite a bit of ways for him to go before he actually gets back to the water. And we still have an amazing wind here. This is so cool. He's a giant gator and we're trying to take him down with the recurve bow. Man, this could go pretty amazing or not so great. But hopefully it's going to be the first one. He's right there. He's right there. Oh my God. He's right there. Check this out. He is right there. 30 yards away from us. Oh my God. I think we're going to go for the shot. 22 yards out. I'm holding it right on that heart. Got another hit into him. Hopefully it brings him down quick enough. Come on. Come on. Oh, he definitely smoked him. Look at that. Vital hits all around. If only that second shot would have connected. Dude. We got honey pressure. I think we're going to get this one. It's uh, a little bit unfortunate and I knew we were taking a huge risk being in this location here because it gets really deep almost instantly. But nonetheless, I'd say we can definitely officially confirm that we got our first gator down with the recurve bow. Whether or not we found him, that's another story. Well, we might not have found that giant seven, but guess what? We just found a massive mythical out here and we're going to try and get him as well. But this time we're actually in a better location because it's a little bit more shallow on this side here. And in order to get him, he's going to probably run this way. And then he has to circle all the way around to get to this point here to get to the deep. So as long as we get two really good hits into him before he gets to the deep, we should have a really good chance at getting this massive mythical gator down. And there he is right there, 20 yards away from us. We don't quite have a shot because there's a couple of trees blocking the vitals, but we almost have a shot. We got him right on top of us here. But there's also another gator right here that we got to be really careful. Oh, not to spook. All right, so there he is there, quartering away. I think what we're probably going to have to do is slide over a little more to the right and come in on the back side. Now we can go for a kind of a quartering away shot on this giant gator. But let's swing wide right here. We don't want to go super right because he's right behind that tree right there. Now we're going to have to try and tuck it like right below the spine. Ideally what I'm trying to do is get a spine lung shot here. Right there. Oh, I think we did good. I think we did good. Oh, what the heck kind of a shot was that? Oh, we did not do good. We did not do good. Son of a... Now, the shot wasn't exactly bad. It was a great, great shot, but I think we were maybe an inch or two too low below the spine. Either way, we definitely made a vital hit, but I missed that spinal cord, which is what I was trying to hit. Holy, what in the heck was that? Oh my God, an alligator just came flying past right next to us here, but we got a giant mythical right out there. And you know what? He's actually going to rest right out there. But I happen to have a tent right on top of that thing. <laughs> and I mean right on top of that thing. So probably not a great idea. But we're going to go over there and try and get this thing. Let's see what happens here. There it is. Oh, we hit it, but not very good. That was not even close to a chance at getting that thing. Man, we had like maybe two seconds and he was already completely submerged under the water. Wow. Whew. Um, But that kind of has me thinking. What if we try that again? But this time, 
Move the tent a little bit further away. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening? Are you freaking kidding me right now? How did, this, uh, how did this happen? Like, do you realize how many times I've tried to get an alligator in this particular location and they completely disappear because it's really deep here? And all of a sudden he started floating up to the top of the water. It actually looks like we made a pretty epic shot. Look at the hole there. He was quartering away. It was roughly uh, probably 20 yards out. And we took the shot. Just want to get one cool picture. I am absolutely tickled at this point. I am super, super excited. Oh my God, what a heck of an amazing shot. Took him at 11 yards out and a 459 gold mythical olive alligator down with the recurve bow. Never give up. Never, never give up. Because honestly, you never know when it's going to turn out the way that you want it to. Wow. I was like seconds away from changing the time and moving the tent to a different location to try and actually get this mythical or at least a giant alligator with the recurve and be able to collect it. And somehow this thing floated back to the top of the water. I mean, we honestly made an absolutely perfect shot as he was trotting away, quartering away, just centered the lung beautifully there. But I just cannot believe that we got him. Man, that is so cool. And you can bet he's definitely getting mounted and going into our trophy lodge. Oh, what a heck of a way to end this video. Man, I am so pumped about this right here. And not only that, he's a monster. 459 is not even that far off from being a diamond. So for a mythical, and he weighed 1,000 pounds. I really wish we could tell how long this thing was. But I guess compared to reality, I would say that that's probably about like a 12 footer, which is giant. But anyways, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.